What is up, Humanoid Nation? So, our boy, uh, Skippy, the 40-year-old virgin, Mormon, the very creepy dude, I still, wait, hold on. The fan was on. I still don't know if this guy is actually real or he's just playing this up as a gimmick to get noticed on YouTube, but whatever he's doing, it works, because anything he says, it's just cringe. So today, in his own channel, I am Skippy. He got catfished. Let's go on this journey together, shall we? Let's do this. I decided that the best place to put the camera was on top of the trash cans. So, trash cans are facing out towards the street. Set the camera up on a little tripod. Then what are you planning? And also, don't you have a tripod instead of using a trash can? I like the ghettoness of it, but I've done that before. Put it on trash can. It's the ghettoest way. But man, there facing uh, this way. That's my car. That's where I live in the basement. I'm in a basement, just not in mom's basement anymore. That's awesome. This but you're is my still life. in a okay. basement. So uh, this week's video. Okay, I'm glad he moved out though. That's good for him. Uh, improv. So you improv with some other people, and if they liked you, they brought you back, and they liked me, and they brought me back. And what they brought me back. You have a good personality, bro. Yeah, people like you. They have a good personality. It's just that you're um, I was the just very, very weird when it comes to dating. And uh, I had to bring my own wardrobe because there was no wardrobe budget. I uh, please don't bring your I uh, made out with Skippy for like three minutes. Uh, I flew out to see her. She turned out to be a dude, and I'm doing her. I flew out to see her. She told that her soulmate says. Skippy, no, no, okay. Turned out to be a dude, and I'm doing it for him. Wow. Oh, a thousand twenty-five. I said, uh, thought it was one hundred twenty-five. Okay, now it's on. It's on. Misha, Misha, her online, and uh, I saw her photos, and I messaged her, and uh, of all the guys out there, she messaged me back. Okay, Misha, as in your witness, is that The beautiful right? Asian woman. Why don't you stand up uh, next to uh, Mr. Adams and just just stay there next to him? So you went online and mm -hmm. you thought you met Misha. Yeah, well, she had like lots of followers and uh, many admirers, shall we say, and I messaged and she messaged back. And I thought, First of all, that's a red flag, like many admirers, and he's on the website and look at her. She's beautiful. That's a definite red flag. It was, I was okay, I'm saying, like, I'm not the b best looking guy, but if some random hot woman messages me on WhatsApp, I immediately think, like, who the fuck is this, and why are you talking to me? Because I get that a lot. Like, yeah, look at this. Not that great. And look at them. A 10 out of 10. What the fuck? I ain't buying that shit. I'm not the best looking guy in the world, but mm -hmm. I'm kind of funny, you know, so I kind of get that vibe from people, and, uh, son of a gun, like, she messaged back, and then it started going pretty well, you know? Wow, okay. And then we swapped phone numbers, and so then it went from, like, messaging online to texting. And, yeah, no. And how just, long did you, um, have this online relationship for, or this? About six right? months. Six months, yeah. so. Six months, Skippy. Back and forth, mm -hmm. Come on, dude. Please tell me you didn't give them money. Got to know each other. Yes. What you believed was Misha. Yes, what I thought was Misha. Okay, and did you seem to have everything in common? Well, some things. I mean, she's a hot Asian girl, and I work at a pizza place. But yeah, other than that, you know, I mean, like we. That's definitely a red flag. You're she's a hot Asian girl, and you work at a pizza place. Could have been. Come on, Skippy. Well, yeah. she she was the face. I was the one he had these things in common with. Because she was the face, and I was the personality behind her. I mean... Mm -hmm. So you were... So nonchalant about it. She's the face. I'm the personality yes, behind this. Yes, yes ma'am. I follow him from her account, because she's well-known on social sites. But, I mean, she's kind of over. You know, she doesn't really indulge in the hype anymore. And I kind of do it for her from her site. Because, I mean, obviously, she's beautiful. And with my situation, I would like to be a beautiful woman, as strange as that may sound. Okay. So I just saw an opportunity to use her, use her site. And you two are good friends? Yes, ma'am. Okay. After a while, we got to where he was. He would call, and obviously, I wouldn't pick up the phone. I would. It, uh, of course, Skippy would call. Skippy would always call. Can't hold back. He can't hold back. 
when I could, I would get my friend here to pick up the phone because video chatting is... It led to actual phone conversations. Yeah, sometimes, but it was kind of shady, but I was like, oh, but then sometimes we get to, like, do the uh, face-to-face online kind of stuff, so I got to see her sometimes, so I was, at that point, I was like, oh, well, I'm not totally a dope, because there she is, and we're talking and stuff. So this way you actually then played a part in this very deceitful game, is that correct? I didn't really want to, but Joshua kept calling us, like, nonstop. He was like a lost puppy, and he kept calling you. I mean, he's talking to Sin, so... I, I feel like he called... I mean, yeah. they may be splitting hairs. I feel like he was calling me, imagining her face. Yeah, I'm, hair. Because he thought it was her. Yeah, of course he would want to talk to her. He doesn't know that you're a dude. Okay, that's interesting. He was calling... Not just her, her face. Look at him. Thank you, guys. Car's coming. You're not editing it out, huh? Okay. So now to part you're, two. You're so cool, Skitty. <laughs> I like. I love you, uh, man. Awkwardness is amazing. Oh, it's such a cringe that by these people. I wanted to be magnificent. I was hoping that someone would watch this and be like, "Let's get this guy an agent. Let's get him off into Hollywood." Uh, uh, Gippy. Man. Oh, man. Skippy, I'm rooting for you, but come on. Come on. You played along. And you got to the point where you decided you wanted to meet Miss Lee in person. Yes. That's why we're here. Tell yes. me what happened. So I had tried a couple times to go out and visit her. I'm in Los Angeles. She is in Miami. And then I lost my job. But why are you? Los Angeles. She is in Miami. And then. Bro, why are you mad? He doesn't want you. He wants her. Just look at this guy's face. Like, you serious? You don't love me? He doesn't, he didn't know you were being, he doesn't know you. And the nerve on this dude's face, like, I get it, he's heartbroken, but come on. I lost my job, but at that time, I had just a little bit of sa uh, money and savings, so then I was like, hey, can I, I just lost my job, I'm really depressed, I'd love to come see you, and I don't have money, so if I come, can you pay me back, because we both want to see each other, right? Oh, I see, so you just threw the idea out there. Well, he did, it was, he, he did tell me, I mean, I stalled for a while, yes, for obvious reasons, when he would throw around the idea of coming to see me, however, I, I finally just said, you know what, for, it might, maybe something will come of it, maybe it will work out, and I didn't want to, feel like, I, I didn't want to cheat Did he give you any indication that he was attracted to him? No, and that was, no. <laughs> the, the way he said it, no. Than gender and identity, and since we had spent so much time getting to know each other online for texting, I understand that. But fundamentally, relationships, yes, they are about the person, but it's about sometimes it's the attraction. That's the first thing that gets you. I did see a point where we're getting too serious. So why don't you just stop and just use your senses and say this is enough? Wishful thinking. And I said, okay, well, I can reimburse you if you come down and. If it all goes well. If it all goes well. Um, what, what do you mean by that? I can reimburse you if all goes well. So if he actually wants to date you when he doesn't even know you're a guy, that it makes no sense, my guy. Was not going to I didn't think there was a good chance it wouldn't, but I... I How would it be okay. a good chance? So then tell me then what happened. He clearly is not into dudes. So I get off the plane. We agree to meet at a restaurant at around noon. I say my... Date is here, Misha. They're like right this way. They take me over to a table where a gentleman is, mm -hmm. and we had a confrontation. And I threw a glass of where a look gentleman at, is. Mm -hmm. And look at this dude's face. He's like, "How dare you?" I thought we had a thing going on. Like he's the victim. We had a confrontation, and I threw a glass of wine on him, and I had to get a hotel. Because I was supposed to be staying with her that night, right? We were going to hit it off, and it was going to be magical. And I did not plan on getting a hotel, nor did I plan on drinking a lot. And so I don't I think it's my fault that he chose So you were planning on staying with her without even knowing her? We knew each other for like six no, months. No, we no, had an emotional you connection. Know each other. So you decided to... Uh, no. Knew each other for six months. We never actually met, met. Things on the internet, man. You got to be careful on the internet. Like, Jesus Christ. Six months is not that much. 
go to stay with her. Okay. Yes. And then so we decided that yeah. You freak out yeah. and you leave. And then what did you say, uh, Mr. Adams? Well, I didn't get to say too much to him when he, you know, because I had, had hopes that he would just hear me out. I mean, what did you expect was going to happen? That from one moment he would look at you and say, "Yes, I am gay, and you are the love of my life." I mean, I didn't expect some fairy tale to burst into fruition. Really, you, you were thinking this was a movie, man. Like, it, like, oh, he comes up, hey, oh, poor choice of words. <laughs> he would go to the restaurant. Have a talk. We should talk about interest stuff that you both are into. And then Magical Bells. You were, you were thinking like this was a movie. A very bad 90s movie. Yeah. <laughs> to be, yeah. Fundamentally believed that he would be okay with the fact that you lied about who you were, that you lied that you were a man, that you lied that you were a gay man. Do you think he would fundamentally accept that? And you, yourself, seem to be a pretty stable guy. You decide to go. I don't know if you're online. You decide to go. Oh, he's online a lot. You're going to count on a complete stranger. Yep. To give you half of your ticket. When you don't take mine, you had a six-month rela- an emotional connection, which could have been a He's lie. going hard on so him. So you rely on an emotional connection for this person to pay you back $475? Really? I would, That's ridiculous. I would like to put thousand dollars, you, not you just every evidence you, Well, listen, the extra two hundred dollars that you spent, the extra three fifty, it's all irrelevant because I'm. Doing yeah, that's all, that's on him. That's on him. I agree because like he meets the dude, he leaves, gets a hotel on his own, but that's his own money, not his. That's doing that. Yeah. And do not give me attitude. You assume the risk of flying to the other side of the United States with no job, with no nothing, just for the thrill of ma- meeting a hot Asian girl. That those are your words. You're the idiot, not me. You oh. Now you, do you really believe I would? Yeah, hey, I, I gotta listen to that again. Words. You're the idiot, not me. You spent your money foolishly. Wow. Now you. Do you Ooh. really believe I would consider paying you $977 for what you just did? $977. Well, to react that way. And, I mean, I understand what I did was wrong, but I didn't expect to be bathed in wine. Mr. Adams, you need to go home and look at yourself in the mirror and try to figure out what you're made of. Go back to your mom and dad and figure it out because you're walking a very dangerous line. Wake up, sweetheart. Based on the evidence, I'm denying your claim, and I'm denying your claim. Judge Perez has denied both his yeah. claim. And oh, his Skippy! Counterclaim. You came out to your entire family, but not to me. You and I both know there was a real connection. And there was, right, so but he didn't know. Video. Thank you. Everyone, You're a dude. Uh, been leaving. Uh, see you on Venmo and Skippy Squad. Bye, guys. One of my roommates. Ah, <laughs> uh, Skippy. And thank you. Yeah. I don't know what else to say about Skippy. I said it so many times. Skippy. You gotta control yourself, man. Like, six months is not a long time to meet someone. And to the other guy that catfished him, like, I know you had a connection with him. But he thought you were a woman, so that doesn't really matter. It's not like in the movie where, like, he'll fall in love with you. Or, like, that episode of My Name is Earl where, like, what's his face is gay and likes the police officer and he finds his damn this to get him. And in the end, they wind up together. Ah, uh, but yeah. But that's it for now, Human Nation. This is Crin. Like, <laughs> Skippy and his adventures, man. Skippy and his adventures. Take it easy, Human Nation. Human Order Freak Out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos pegando poquito a poquito, cuando tú me ves.